Hello, this is Dr. Clark from the Center for Weight Loss Success, and uh, I'm just updating you on this two-week jumpstart diet. Okay, so kind of uh, I've been doing these videos every other day, kind of keeping people updated. I've gone public with this whole thing. I said, yes, I'm doing this two-week jumpstart diet, which anybody can do. We've talked about this. I've talked a little more detail about what's involved with the diet um, on the last video. I think this is the sixth video now. And so, just want to give you a little update. So, I'm in then day 10. So, this is day 10 of the two weeks. So, kind of the end looks like it's kind of in sight, so to speak. So, it's day 10. I'm down 11 pounds, which kind of it slowed down somewhat. I was not, not unexpected, I guess, at all. And so, to give you that little bit of update, but then I also want to make a little couple of little comments about something I've noticed, things that I've noticed and have come to mind over these last couple of days about kind of how the diet's going. Overall, it's going great I actually feel really well okay which I thought I'd be really getting tired out but I want to talk a little bit about fatigue and not just am I feeling fatigued because bottom line is I'm not I actually feel really good somewhat energized through this whole thing but there are some things about fatigue when I say fatigue there's really two things I want to talk about one is kind of diet fatigue meaning that uh, you get tired of the diet and it's like okay right I mean I'm using five shakes a day that's pretty much the diet right there so yeah if you want to say it gets old it's like okay but also kind of looking at the end is in sight kind of uh, down there just a couple days but also as I mentioned last time there is kind of there are different flavors you can add and that kind of thing but just realize yeah it does I don't I don't deny that the, the fatigue and the diet is like okay am I tired of having these shakes it was like, yeah, but I still like them. It's like, but if you, I guess if you ate your favorite meal every single day, that would probably get old too. So this does kind of, but there are some other flavors that are out there, and we have other ones to utilize. We have ways to modify that somewhat and still really do the same thing. Now, the second type of fatigue is something I alluded to um, a couple of times during these videos, and one is I was afraid kind of as the as I got because I've been continuing exercising pretty much the same way I always have, so that hasn't changed a whole lot. And I noticed, and I mentioned that, gee, am I going to feel fatigued with my exercise? And I hadn't noticed this up till yesterday. Uh, Mondays are typically yesterday is Monday, um, so yesterday kind of uh, is typically my hardest exercise day because it is something that I do. I usually am done in the operating room relatively early in the afternoon, and I don't actually go to the office. So then I can okay, I can get a really good workout in. So I typically, you know, I spend about an hour and fifteen minutes of my workout on Mondays. That's my big workout day. Kind of mix it with cardio and uh, weight training. Um, you just do an ab workout, and actually, I'm, I'm just to throw it out there. I, I'm partial to Mondays actually doing one of the P90X workouts. Um, P90X is a great workout plan uh, from Beachbody. Um, but anyway, I'm partial, and actually partial to the chest and back uh, workout, and it's one of my favorite ones to actually do. And then followed by the ab type thing. So what I found is that typically, kind of, I work on that, and I feel energized with doing that. Yesterday, towards the end of the workout, I started noticing, boy, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm struggling a little bit when I normally would, not um, in that I couldn't get quite the reps in that I normally would. And so I started kind of thinking about, am I just, what is it that's kind of causing this? And uh, when I started thinking about it more, it's like the, I think the main reason I, I, I'm seeing that fatigue is actually I'm probably a little bit salt deficient. It not so much, it can be just that's a little low calorie for me, but I think it's more at this point is really more salt deficient. When we go on aggressive weight loss plans, we tend to waste salt. Okay, when I say especially if it's a low carbohydrate plan, because uh, carbohydrate, as we've talked about, kind of makes insulin levels go up. Insulin makes you retain salt. So when we take carbohydrate low, insulin levels drop. When insulin levels drop, we no longer retain sodium. And so typically that's why, you know, with low-carbohydrate diets, you'll often lose weight those first few days fairly quickly. It's because as insulin levels drop, you no longer retain sodium, which then means you don't retain water either. So you're actually wasting sodium that you normally wouldn't waste. And once your body kind of wastes some sodium, it's one of its uh, resources to fall back on so you don't get sodium depleted, is that it'll actually start wasting potassium and magnesium to try to hang on to the sodium. 
And when all those, especially potassium, magnesium, sodium, start to drop a little bit, and it typically won't drop so that they're abnormal lab values, because your body will actually, it's kind of abnormal tissue values, which if we checked your labs, you know, we draw some blood off you, actually in the lab, the, the blood lab, the serum labs would probably be fine. Okay? But it's actually the tissue levels that we need. And so subsequently then, if those start dropping off, we tend to feel fatigued. So, okay, what do you do about that? All right, so I'm on this kind of just a shake diet, and it's not like I'm going to add a bunch of salt to my shake, but actually an easy way to do that is get a little bit of bouillon. So get a bouillon cube, either chicken bouillon or beef bouillon, and put it in a you know, half cup of water, cup of water, and kind of you melt it down. So it's kind of part of your hydration and water, okay, but you actually have a little bouillon. And so, yes, it's a little variation. And actually, what I found, I had a beef bouillon yesterday. Actually, I had two little bouillon cubes because I thought I might be even lower than that. And I think that actually, it, the extra salt actually probably stalled my weight loss for a day. I kind of had, gee, I was at 11 pounds and I was like 11.2 pounds. I didn't lose much weight. But part of that is probably because I actually needed the extra salt and I may have kind of held on to a little extra water. But one of the nice things with a bouillon cube, whether you know chicken or beef, with a beef bouillon cube, it actually kind of reduced some of my cravings of, uh, gee, I wanted some meat, because I'm a carnivore at heart. I admit it, uh, whether good or bad, you can either you know comment below what you think that good or bad, I don't care. Um, but I am a carnivore at heart, and so when I think about, gee, what's my next first meal going to be when I'm done, it's probably going to have something to do with meat. Um, and it will. But anyway, that's a different discussion. We'll discuss that in a couple of days. So, kind of what I found, though, is actually helped that craving. It was like, gee, this is really good. It's just broth, and uh, it actually added a little salt. And so, subsequently, actually, my energy level popped up then, too. And today, when I was working out, I don't work out quite as hard the, on uh, Tuesdays as I do on, on Monday, but still, it's like I felt good, no problems going through it. I didn't get that fatigue notion, and so, actually, it really helped. So, kind of my last little comment then is about willpower. I kind of tweeted about this. You may see it on our Facebook page is, a, is willpower. Willpower really is like a muscle. And we need to practice willpower. And if we practice willpower, it gets stronger. And really kind of often I hear people tell me, oh, I have no willpower at all. You know, I can't do this. Like, well, yes, you do. Everybody has willpower. It's just you need to practice utilizing it. And it's like a muscle. The more you practice, the better you get. All right, so hopefully that was a decent update for you. If you have questions, you have comments, please comment below. And if you share this as well, we encourage people to do this, to kind of look at our, our, our site, and we can help you with weight loss, overall weight loss plan. And take care. I will talk to you again in a couple of days. We're getting towards the end of this, but we will start talking about what's going to happen after that. What are we going to do after? And a very important question to answer probably before you get to the end of that two-week period. All right. We'll talk soon. Take care.